fight. Um, I just got finished covering um Andy Lee versus Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders is the new WBO champion at 160 pounds. So Golovkin is in a situation right now. For example, if you don't know, the WBC rule that basically both fighters would be allowed a voluntary defense. Golovkin can defend his WBC interim title and Canelo can defend his WBC title in May of 2016. And then these guys would fight at the end of 2016, you know, or in May of 2017. I knew that the WBC was not going to strip Canelo with all the bullshit they was talking. I already knew that. I knew that something was going to have to be worked out. But what I really wanted to see is I really wanted to see Golovkin versus Canelo in May. You know, so both sides came to an agreement. I'm guessing they're thinking like, well, let's let this fight build up a little longer so we can, you know, squeeze, you know, maybe 75 to 100 dollars out of people and get a lot of pay-per-view buys. Because even though um, Cotto versus Canelo did 900,000 pay-per-view buys, Golovkin versus Lemieux did exactly what it was supposed to do, if not just a little under around 150,000 buys. And I'm guessing they think they're thinking that. You know, just let fan appeal, you know, like put it this way. I really don't care too much about the business side when it comes to this fight because this is a fight that can be made. Both of the both of the promoters are on good terms. Um, they're both on the same network. And I'm just pissed that it's not happening in May because it's like, well, you know, like who is really to blame? You know, and you can't blame you can't say you can't say on Golovkin's in well, you know, that's fucked up for Golovkin because he had to take some type of step aside deal or whatever the case may be because he's not saying, no, WBC, tell Canelo to give me my belt if he's not going to fight me next. So it's hard to be mad at, at, at Canelo or any side, you know, because I know that they worked out some type of deal behind the scenes. Now, I understand what people have. Like, people have a big issue with Golovkin because Golovkin will move to 168 to fight Carl Frotch. But he won't move to 168 to fight Andre Ward. He'll move to 154 for Floyd Mayweather, but not 155 for Canelo from what we're hearing. Now, another new development is that when it comes to when they do fight, that it will be at the full 160 pounds. But that remains to be seen when you got the promoters talking about they got to come to a comfortable weight like 155 or 157 or some old bullshit like that. But now... Golovkin's plan is in jeopardy because he wants to be an undisputed champion. Here's he's saying he's not moving up to 168 pounds until he captures all the belts in the 160 pound division. That means Canelo's WBC belt, and that means Billy Joe Saunders' WB, WBO belt. Remember, Golovkin has the WBA Super World and the IBF. Those are the only two real, you know, legitimate belts that he has. The WBC interim, it's like, yeah, well, we know Canelo's the WBC champion. You know, that IBO, people don't really count the IBO like that. And when it comes to another fight that I would like to see, Billy Joe Saunders, who's the new WBO champion, he said before in the past that he's not ready for a Golovkin. And I don't see Billy Joe Saunders unifying a division at any time soon. There was the possibility of maybe a Golovkin versus an Andy Lee if Andy Lee would have beat Billy Joe Saunders. But the promoter of Andy Lee, um, Lou DiBella, was talking about having Andy Lee fight Danny Jacobs for the WBA world. Now, a perfect fight that, um, as I said earlier, like a, a fight that would be perfect would be a Golovkin versus a Danny Jacobs in March or April in New York. But because of the network situation, it's because of, you know, Golovkin is tied to HBO. That seems to be the holdup on why that fight can't happen because Danny Jake was the WBA world. Golovkin, the WBA super world. Now, the WBA, WBA has said in the past, about a few weeks or so ago, that they would, um, that they would um, likely order Golovkin to fight or or Danny Jacobs to fight Golovkin. And there's a picture of Golovkin and Danny Jacobs at the WBA convention just about a few days or so before this video. So I don't know what they're going to do with that. But at the same time, the WBA is kind of shady anyway when it comes to who they decide to order for the fight or whatever the case may be. But, 
you know, I can sit here and talk all day about the politics of the boxing and people going to, you know, people going to, um, you know, say, well, you know, I don't care about this. You know, I just want to see the fighters fight. But it's like you need to understand why the fighters can't fight, you know, or, or if they were to fight, you know, who would they fight? So I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Now it's looking like Golovkin is likely going to fight his mandatory for the WB, WBC interim because when it comes to WBC, you got the WBC champion who's Canelo, WBC interim who is um, Golovkin, and the WBC silver who was Turiano Johnson. So it's looking like Golovkin is going to fight Turiano Johnson next in his next fight in March or April. Hopefully it's in Madison Square Garden because I will be there. Um, also, since it's at the end of the video, just stay tuned for um, 2016. Got a lot of things, a lot of good things planned out for uh, 2016. What is that, a mosquito? It's cold as hell out. A lot of things planned for uh, 2016. You know, had a big learning year of 2016, I mean, uh, 2015, and just looking to do some great things. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.